بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم کلاس سکس انگلش یونٹ تھری ٹریول ان ٹوڈیز کلاس وی ول ڈو ریڈنگ کمپریہنشن ایکسرسائز ڈی پیج نمبر فورٹی ون یو ہیو ٹو ڈو دس ایکسرسائز ان یور بک ان دس ایکسرسائز یو ہیو ٹو کمپلیٹ دا فلو چارٹ آف سوات ہسٹری یو ہیو ٹو کمپلیٹ دس گیون فلو چارٹ بیسڈ آن دا ہسٹری آف سوات اور بیسڈ آن دا پیپل who have lived in Sawad throughout the history or who have lived in Sawad for so many years. Some of the boxes are complete in this flowchart. Some are incomplete. Let's take a look at it. For example, the oldest people who lived in Sawad were the descendants of Alexander. Right? But after Alexander, you have to write the people who had come and lived in um, Sawad. And after that, you have to write the next group of people who had come and lived in Sawad until the British came and finally the Pakistani people that we are. You have to fill the second and the third box according to the history. For example, after Alexander, who came and lived in Sawad? Yes, after Alexander, the Buddhist had come and lived in Sawad for so many years. But after the Buddhists, who had come and lived in Sawad? Yes, after the Buddhists, the Mughals had come and lived in Sawad for so many years until the British came and they took over the country. And finally, when they left, we Pakistanis live in Sawad. So this is all about the history of Sawad. Now the next question is reading comprehension exercise E page number 41. In this exercise here are five picturesque phrases. Draw a scenery showing all the given phrases. As you can see in this exercise there are five phrases and the phrases are picturesque mean when you read them you can create a picture of the words in your mind for example the first phrase phrase is a fruit laden orchard means a fruit laden garden or a garden which is full of fruits so when i say a fruit laden orchard or a garden which is full of fruits which has so many fruits on the trees all of you must be Imagining a, imagining a certain type of garden in your minds. So what you have to do is you have to draw pictures for each of the following phrases. For example, if I ask you to draw a fruit laden orchard, you can use this picture as an example. You don't have to draw exactly the same. You have to use this as an example. You can also change the things in this picture for example you can make more trees you can make more different types of fruits and you have to make a garden which is full of fruits right the next phrase is a snow capped mountain so when i say a snow capped mountain all of you must be imagining different pictures according to your mind right so one example of a snow capped mountain is this picture on the top which shows the mountains covered with snow so you have to draw a picture of snow capped mountains. You can also use this picture as an example and you can also use more pictures from the internet or you can draw pictures on, on your own. The next one is a vast plateau. Plateau are plains and these are the lands which are just a little above the sea. Means they are not very tall, they are not at a very great height like the mountains. They are just a little above the sea. The next one is the excavated sites. For example, Mohenjo Daro is an excavated site. It has been, um, it has been dug out, and this place was first destroyed, but later on it was discovered by the people. So, excavated sites are those sites which are which are destroyed first by some disaster or something, but later on they are discovered by people. So, for example, this picture is from Mohenjo Daro, which is an excavated site in Pakistan. You can use this as an example and draw a picture of an excavated site. 
द लास्ट वन इज अ बेरन एरड रीजियन बेरन मीन्स समथिंग विच इज अनप्रोडक्टिव एंड समथिंग विच इज इनफर्टाइल फॉर एग्जाम्पल डेजर्ट डेजर्ट इज अ बेरन लैंड बिकॉज इट इज इट इज अनप्रोडक्टिव इट इज इनफर्टाइल बिकॉज नथिंग कैन ग्रो नो प्लांट्स नो क्रॉप्स नो फ्लावर्स नो रेन दैट इज वाई द लैंड इन इन द डेजर्ट दे आर एम टी दे हैव वेरी लिटल वेरी फ्यू प्लांट्स एंड समटाइम्स दे हैव नो प्लांट्स सो इफ आई आस्क यू टू ड्रॉ अ बेर इन एरड रीजन यू हैव टू ड्रॉ अ प्लेस विच इज़ लाइक अ डेजर्ट एंड इट हैज़ नो ट्रीज और वेरी फ्यू ट्रीज और नो प्लांट्स सो दीज आर द फ्रेजेस एंड दीज आर द पिक्चर्स गिवन एज द एग्जाम्पल नाउ वॉट यू हैव टू डू एज यू हैव टू कम्प्लीट द फ्लो चार्ट इन एक्सरसाइज डी पेज नंबर फोर्टी इन योर बुक एंड देन यू हैव टू कम्प्लीट एक्सरसाइज ई पेज नंबर फोर्टी इन योर इंग्लिश लिटरेचर नोटबुक इन विच यू हैव टू ड्रॉ पिक्चर्स फॉर द फ्रेजेस आई विल सी यू इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास एंड टेल दैन टेक केयर एंड अल्लाह हाफिज़